Willkommen in der Kulturport Lounge beim Elb Jazz Festival 2014. Welcome Stefano Bolani to Kulturport at Elb Jazz Festival this Grazie. year. Um, you've performed last night in a church here in Hamburg. Um, and um, how did it feel yesterday? Well, at the beginning uh, it was difficult because the church is not actually the place to be for me. But, uh, but uh, you know, you cannot fight against the place uh, you are in. So I, I started trying to understand how can I fit. And, um, and then it, it went as a normal concert, of course, because mainly because the audience was very hot and warm, so it helped a lot. Yeah, and I enjoyed that. What I didn't say was that uh, you're um, a wonderful pianist from Italy, from northern Italy. And uh, you had a solo performance and yeah. I saw what you did there and um, we all can see that you're very um, much a virtuoso but also you're very much into humor and you like to laugh, you like to play. And last night you had a sequence in your performance where you asked the audience to tell you a tune that you're gonna play. So everybody said something and you wrote it down and then you played a medley. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I usually do when I play along. Because in a way, that's what I do during the concert. I ask myself some tunes I would like to listen to and I play them. And then at the end I ask the audience to, to the names of the tunes they would love to listen to. But it's the same uh, project, let's say. It's just uh, picking up a tune from your memory or from the audience's memory and then try, try to find a way to make it contemporary, to make it in, in the present tense. And we can see that you are a very broad, um, interested um, person because you like pop, classic, jazz, rock, whatever comes. So I have prepared a little test for you. That's great. And I wonder whether um, you are um, that spontaneous. Uh -huh. <laughs> So um, I have um, three questions for you from jazz, movie, soundtracks and um, classical music. And maybe because I, I know you like to sing a lot. Okay. You don't only play the piano, but you like to sing. Yeah, I want to be a singer in the future. In the future, I want to be a singer. I'm working on that. I'm just learning the piano uh, to learn, to, to achieve the skills to, to be a good Pianist to comp my voice. That's what I would like to do. see. So maybe anyway. you can um, sing something now. And yeah. um, I say just two names: Chicoria, Spain. Uh, Chicoria, Spain is quite easy. Etc. But that was easy. Okay. I, want, I want the difficult one. Next one. La Dolce Vita, Nino Rota. Which one? Would you like the main theme or <laughs> the, the second theme? The main theme is. Quite easy and quite also quite uh, Kurt Wellish. Kurt Weilish style, but the other one I, I love uh, is, um, is a waltz. It's called Jesumina, and Caetano used to sing used to sing this song. And it's, let's see if I can avoid this trombone. No, uh, so, come tu mi vuoi, sarò, sarò quello che tu vuoi, farò, farò, non ti lascerò mai. Ma non ti amerò mai, questo tu lo sai, si lo sai. It's not called Gelsomina, I fucked the name, sorry. It's called, <laughs> it's called Come Tu Mi Vuoi. Gelsomina is from La Strada, it's another movie. Beautiful. Okay. And now the last one, because yes. you said you want to be a singer in the future yeah. and um, opera now. Yeah, I love opera. I know everything about opera. I know everything, except for some... Uh, I don't know these guys, Puccini, Verdi, Rossini, Bellini, uh, Wagner, <laughs> but all the other ones. Nothing left. Yeah, nothing left. Oh. No Nessun Dorma. Ah, I know this one. 
Actually, I have a good story on this one. Uh, uh, many years ago, maybe 20 years ago, I was having a concert and a guy came saying he was a good friend of a promoter and he was a singer, opera singer, and we were in Livorno, which was the town where Pietro Mascagni was born. So he, he said to me, would you comp, uh, comp uh, my voice? I want to sing Nessun Dorma. I told him, well, well, it's by Puccini. Yeah, it's a tribute to Mascagni. Yeah, but it's by Puccini. Yeah, but I want to sing it anyway. Okay. And he started singing this song in, uh, with a microphone and with the audience. The audience was very close to him. And I was just reading the music with a friend of mine turning the pages. I was very young. And this guy, which, which was absolutely no singer, I don't know who he was, a uh, uh, crazy guy, he just started singing very soft and with a microphone here, with this kind of vibrato, very slow, long pause. Tu pure principessa. Very slow and very, very soft. And it, it did the, he did the old song in this way because he was waiting for the final moment on the final, very ending of the song. And I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't looking, even looking at him. I was just playing. All'alba vincerò. Vincerò. And then he took the microphone here and said, Vincerò! And it was, re believe me, was one of, the, one of the most strongest attacks to my heart ever. Uh, and all the audience was like, whoa! <laughs> and everybody, everybody started applauding. It, it was a big success because nobody expected that voice with that volume, and it's a good idea. And when I will be a singer, I will do exactly like that. I will sing all the time like this. Before the old time. And then at the end, you just do like this and you scream. And people is applauding. So, um... That's opera, actually. Today you are having a second performance at Elb Jazz with uh, the NDR Big Band. And um, maybe you can tell us how this came um, to your mind to work together with uh, the NDR Big Band in Hamburg. Well, it was quite easy because it came to my mind when Stefan Gerdes, the guy from the NDR Big Band, called me proposing the project. <laughs> so it was his idea and uh, um, together we decided uh, about the, the drummer, Jeff, which I wanted to play with, Jeff Bala, because I know him since a long time, but we, we, are not, we don't have so many chances to work together, and he's a, a really good friend and a fabulous musician. And then I discovered this guy, this Norwegian guy, Geir Lisne, uh, who arranged my songs, my compositions for the big band, and that was a surprise, because uh, Stefan proposed this name, I listened to his music and I thought, wow, this guy has almost nothing to do with my music. So this is going to be quite interesting. And in fact, he took my music, he shaked it up and did a totally different thing. And when I came to my first rehearsal here in 2010, that was new music for me. And, and it's still new music, it's still fresh. And uh, we, we made a recording, a live recording uh, for a record called Big Band, a quite easy name. And I'm very happy to play this repertoire. And you won an Echo with um, Echo Jazz. Yes, with, we won um, the, the Echo Prize uh, last year. Yeah. Yeah. So how much is left of the Italian flavor in this project? A lot. I would say it's uh, it's really. Um, you wouldn't believe that there's a Norwegian arranger. You wouldn't believe there's a German band playing because the flavor is really Italian. I, I don't know exactly why because I mean. Uh, you, it's something uh, between the lines uh, which you cannot express uh, with words. Uh. So we are all looking forward to your performance today. I and thank you. Grazie tante. Grazie.